But I'm reading this letter on behalf of my husband who's being sexually abused in Michigan Department of Corrections facilities. I have made reports. Um, I've contacted the Michigan Department of Internal Affairs. I reached out to the wardens. I reached out to the civil rights activists. Um, they still have to get back to me. They said they'll contact me next week. But it seems like there's open investigations going on, but they're not doing anything. So I'm just gonna read this letter that I also have on my petition from Kalik. It says, my name is Kalik Brewer. I was incarcerated since 2014. In 2015, I was transported to quarantine at the age of 16 with a 25 year sentence. After being in quarantine in Jackson, Michigan for a day, I was sexually abused by two adult prisoners in a shower where I was supposed to be watched due to my age. I tried to talk to the officers about the abuse, but they refused to help me saying, this is prison, you're going to grow up fast. I then tried to talk to other COs, but wasn't able to get any help. After four or five days, I was then transported to Lapeer, Michigan to serve my sentence. I was then sexually abused by a correctional officer named Elmer. I was sexually abused several times by this officer. I talked to the heiress named Daniel Bills to help me with the officer who was abusing me, but I was still left to tend for myself. Whenever I would try to talk to staff, I would be called a snitch just because I didn't want to deal with the abuse anymore. As time went on, I felt as if it was normal being young and going through these problems. At Carson City, where he's now currently housed, He's experiencing verbal sexual abuse from a correction officer named Bohan. This officer would tell me to do things like go have sex with other inmates. He will also say, you're my boyfriend. This officer tried to do many things to set me up with contraband because I refused to engage sexually with him. This officer talked to inmates to get me stabbed because I was snitching on him. I have wrote the wardens, the heiress, the inspector, and still have no help. The Michigan Department of Corrections has failed me. I deal with post-traumatic stress disorder to all the neglect by those who were supposed to protect me. I still don't feel safe and I'm asking for help from anyone. It's time we change our prison system. And this is from Kalik. It's time we change our prison system and the corrupt correctional officers. If you know someone or have a loved one dealing with similar issues with Michigan Department of Corrections, please speak on it. Now you never know what your loved one is experiencing behind these closed walls. My question to you, um, Ms. Dana Nessel and Governor Whitmer and Heidi Washington. Heidi Washington, you are the director over Michigan Department of Corrections. Why aren't you doing anything? I know back in 2015, you stated that you guys opened up a wing in Lapeer, Michigan and, for, and Thumbs Correctional Facility so that youthful inmates don't have to be around adult inmates so they don't have to experience this abuse. And it still happened. He actually was in that facility when you guys made this plan of action and nothing is it's still the same thing i don't get it even when he was transported to thumb correctional facility he was being sexually abused by corrections officers multiple times when he reported nothing was done you guys have the prea which is supposed to be where they do audits and investigate on these type of things but you guys can't do investigations when people are scared for their life to tell and speak up for themselves so like i said my question to you guys are what is your call of action what are you guys really doing to make sure that our prisoners and our inmates are safe because they're still humans and they still have rights can you answer that for me i've been reaching out to y'all like i said through email i've been calling today at carson city corrections they transferred me they never answered the phone again i have multiple people that have family members in carson city corrections no answer why are you guys withholding information when you guys know you are